in the news. Tonight, one of the nation's most serious drug problems, and it's only getting worse. It's steroids. Professional wrestler Chris Benoit killed his wife, seven-year-old son, and then hung himself. Why did he do it? Steroids found in the house. Steroids cause suicidal tendencies. They hallucinate. They hear voices. Paranoia. Steroids could be the actual cause for the Benoit. Speculation is running wild. Think these steroids. drugs could affect. Now we know. The testosterone found in steroids. Steroids. Let's cut through the crap. This is Steroids 101. First of all, the term steroids is often misused to describe any performance enhancing drug, when in fact, many of these drugs are not actually steroids at all. So what are steroids? Well, steroids are synthetic versions of hormones that your body produces naturally. Like cortisone, that's a steroid. It signals the body to break down inflammation. Birth control pills are steroids too, made from the female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. But the steroids that get all the negative attention are anabolic steroids, made from the male sex hormone testosterone, which tells the body to increase muscle size and strength and helps you recover from workouts faster. Like any drug, anabolic steroids do have side effects, and if you abuse them, the side effects will be worse. For men, they can cause acne, hair growth, raise cholesterol, shrink your testicles, and lower your sperm count, which could even make you sterile. But all of these side effects are reversible when you go off the drugs. Otherwise, steroids don't cause baldness, but if it runs in your family, they might make you go bald faster. And they can also cause gynecomastia, or what the gym rats call bitch tits. For women, in addition to acne and hair growth, steroids can cause a deepened voice, menstrual problems, and can enlarge the clitoris, and some of these are not reversible. And for kids, some experts think steroids can stunt growth by closing growth plates prematurely, but that's actually never been proven. There's also no proof that steroids cause cancer kidney failure, and only oral steroids in high dosages can cause liver problems. And it's true that steroids may be one of a thousand risk factors that could lead to heart disease, but then again, low testosterone is another big risk factor. And roid rage? Steroids can increase aggression, but that only happens in about 5% of the population. And even then, they can't make you psychotic. And as for the long-term side effects, we don't know. No one's ever done those studies.